We are in the Roadshow Kitchen on this Monday morning, thanks to Go Providence. Chef Jacob uh, DeShuttles here from Red Stripe, and we have spring pork chop on the menu today. This is a, uh, a great dish and pretty easy to put together. How are you? Good, how are you? Good, thank you. Uh, mm. Thanks for coming in. Yeah, thanks for having me. The, first of all, the pork chops look great. Yeah, yeah. Now, you were saying one is brined, one is not, right? Yeah, so you can see here uh, the one that's a little bit darker in color yep. is uh, going to be our brine one here. What that's going to do is it's really going to bring out the sweetness of the pork. There's some aromatics in there as well that mm -hmm. are really going to bring out all those flavors. But I just wanted to show the difference between the unbrined one and the brine one. And, so and how, how long does it have to, does it have to uh, brine for? It's it's really up to whatever you would like to do, but the, we brine ours for two days. Oh, so this right. is two days in our brine, which is a nice, you know, not very overly salty, a little sweet. Sure. And at the very end, you'll be able to taste how much that really comes through in the flavor. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. The other thing is, if, you, if you're able to or if you have one at home, use yeah. a cast iron pan. Absolutely. They're by far the best thing to cook, except for, especially to get the nice sear on there. Right. Cast iron pans are the way to go. A way to go. Okay, let's go over the ingredients. All Tell right. everybody what you uh, what you brought and what we're going to need to put together. So these are some gigante beans or butter beans. Uh, they're very starchy, a little waxy, which is really nice. It cooks out in the flavor. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a cherry mustarda, which is an Italian condiment. Uh, we make ours with cherry, but you can really do it with any kind of fruit. just has mustard essence in it. It's really, really, really delicious. Wow. Oh, yeah. It's absolutely delicious. Uh, this is just some chopped herbs that we have here. This is some micro arugula. Um, it's a little spicy, but it gives that nice little kick. Uh, of course, butter. Sure. Chef's best friend. Right. And uh, just some lemons that we're going to use as zest from. All right. And and what the the brine itself is just what is that made out of? Uh, the brine itself is actually made of uh, brown sugar. That's mm -hmm. what gives it its color. A little bit of molasses and a little bit of soy sauce, which really brings in that umami flavor just into the pork. And does that also kind of almost break it down as well? Add flavor to break it down a little, a little bit? bit. Yeah. Right. It's what it's going to do as well is it's going to tenderize it a little bit just because it's going to soak a little bit. So as you sear it out, it's really going to cook and really moisten through the pork. A lot of Great flavors uh, putting this together today. So we'll uh, we'll put this together and uh, also uh, give it a try and talk about the restaurant. Back to you. Well, we are making a spring pork chop in our kitchen this morning. Thanks to Go Providence for bringing Chef Jacob from Red Stripe. Uh, two different types of pork chops that you've brought in here. Well, not necessarily different types, but different techniques. Yep. Uh, so this is, I just kind of wanted to show the color here. Mm -hmm. So you can see the browner one is actually in the brine. What that's going to do is it's really going to have a lot more sweetness, a little bit of saltiness. Mm -hmm. uh, we're still going to season it before we sear it, as you should for all meat. But okay. it's nice to have that really nice aromatic flavor coming through. How and this long one, do you have to brine that for to achieve that color? You can really just, this is two days, but you can brine it for mm -hmm. whatever you're liking, is depending how sweet, how salty your brine is. Okay. You can really just do it. Um, just be cautious of the salt. That's what's going to kill you. Uh -huh. So we're going to start here just by seasoning a little bit. Yep. Flipping that over. Now, do you offer both styles over at Red Stripe? We do not. We only have the uh, the bride one. I okay. just wanted to show the difference. Well, if that has more flavor, I oh, want that one anyways. Right? So we're going to stick that right in the pan there. You have a nice hot pan. Yes, it, you it, always want to have the nice the pan roaring hot. Okay. Um, just below where the smoke, the uh, oil is actually just about to smoke. Mm -hmm. uh, that's where you want to have the meat in, and then you kind of kind of dial it back as the uh, the product actually cooks. No. So we're going to turn that right up to a medium In making temperature. a bone-in pork chop, that might be something that a lot of us aren't used to, or maybe we'll order it out. So how much time does that need to sear? Um, again, it's kind of to your liking. Uh, this one's going to sear for a little bit more just to really get some color in there, and we're actually going to finish it right in the oven. Oh, beautiful. Um, so as you can kind of see with the actual pork chop, we're starting to get a little bit of color here. It doesn't take long to start seeing that brown a little mm -hmm. bit, but you do want to make sure you get a really, really nice sear. That's what's going to give you a really, really nice flavor at the end. Do you use a certain oil in particular? Uh, you want to use something with a higher smoke point. Uh, okay. For instance, a canola oil. Um, something like butter or olive oil is going to start smoking, and that's when you're going to have that really sear up, and it's going to be almost too much. We've heard that a lot from Chef. I know a lot of people are trying to incorporate more olive oil into their diets yep. lately, but not for something like this, not when you're No, the, I wouldn't do that. There. We uh, we are going to be finishing the uh, dish with a little bit of olive oil. That's mm -hmm. what olive oil really should be used for. It's just really finishing. You can cook with it, okay. but it's really much better to be finishing with it. Great, especially when you need to Absolutely. achieve a high temperature like this. And exactly. I noticed a few sprigs of rosemary. I do. There too. Yeah, I like to add that in. I find that it, it really just helps with the whole overall smell um, of it, and then all, also the flavor just really cooks in with that oil. Mm. Uh, we're also going to add a little. Aromatics are great. Right? Once those hit the pan, wow. <laughs> And you kind of tilt it. Just be very careful if you're going to tilt it at home when you're actually going to be basting it, mm -hmm. um, just so that oil doesn't splash over you. Okay. So well, look at that. We've got a beautiful color on our pork chop yep. so far. And believe me, once he threw that rosemary in the pan, it totally uh, changed the scent in this yeah. entire kitchen. It's it very smells nice, great. Right? It looks great. We're well on our way. We'll finish things up in just a bit.
Bill. All right, we are finishing things up in the Roadshow Kitchen. Thanks to Go Proud and Chef Jacobs here. Red Stripe is the restaurant, and we've got a spring pork chop mm. on the uh, on the menu. We, these the beans that you that you prepared, they look great. They smell great too. Yeah, they're really really nice, and it's just simple little herbs in there. We mm -hmm. just do a little bit of toss. This what I'm uh, ladling into it right now is uh, chicken stock. Okay. And what that's going to do is it's just going to give us that last little bit of uh, mm -hmm. you know cooking that it's going to cook the last little roughness out of the bean. We're going to have a little butter in okay. um, to it, and what that's going to do is it's actually going to emulsify the starch. Uh, so as that cooks out, and then we're going to be taking our pork right out of the oven. Um, as mentioned, we uh, did pan sear it before. Going to seal all the juices yep, in absolutely. after brining it. Absolutely. But I like to finish it in the oven because what that's going to do is it's going to allow it to not get too much color on it. Uh, the brine with the sugar in there, it will caramelize very, very fast. Okay. Um, so if you pan sear it, you get a nice sear in it, finish it in the oven, much better that way. Now people are sometimes worried about how long to cook pork. Uh, to making sure that it that it you want to obviously cook, but you don't want to yeah. dry it out so no, much that it's like not. leather. Personally, I mean, you can really eat pork at any temperature. Personally, I like my pork medium. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Some people like it a little bit more, but I tend to like it medium. I find that the juiciness in there really just doesn't cook out like that. Mm -hmm. uh, so you can see with the butter, we're just going to add a little bit more fresh herb in there. That's going to give us this that really nice flavor. What herbs in particular do you, uh, are you using? This is parsley and chive. Great. So we just do a little chop on it, very, very rough, and that way the mm -hmm. oils in the actual herbs really start to cook out. When I was out in my yard yesterday, it got me thinking of growing some of my own herbs, right. and I'd like to do that, so this is a nice way to incorporate yeah. them if you're growing them at home. And hopefully we're in for a great summer, because that's going to be amazing to just have all those herbs. I have yeah. an herb garden at home as well. Um, it really just saves you a trip to the grocery store for me. Yeah, it's yeah. nice being able to go out and just grab something and yeah. throw it in. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. So you can see here that the beans are kind of finishing up, so we're going to go ahead and start putting them on the plate. Okay. And as you're doing that, Chef, you said this is part of a new menu that yes, you've come out with. Yes, it is. Uh, we actually are launching our new menu on uh, this Wednesday. Mm -hmm. um, so we are going to be doing that uh, for both locations, uh, the East Greenwich location as well. Mm -hmm. um, this is one of the dishes on there, and it's one of my favorites. That's why I decided to do it today. So this pork chop is all set. We're just going to place that right over. Mm -hmm. And then this is our cherry mustard that we were talking about earlier. Again, this is just like a mustard sauce uh, with a little bit of cherry in there. So huh. it's a little spicy, it's a little sweet, Ooh. and it's got it a really nice like flavor. Cranberry sauce. It does. Exactly. Yeah. Um, the mustard seed, actually, there's pectin in it, which is a thickening agent, it's a natural ingredient in mustard seeds. Mm -hmm. So that actually thickens the sauce. Huh. Yep. That looks delicious. Right? That looks really good. Wow, and, then, and great color. Yeah, right? And then this is just micro arugula. Um, it's very, it's got a nice little spice to it. Mm -hmm. You want to actually give it a sure. try. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's got a nice little spice out. to it. Here it's very go. surprising. And I, we just like to garnish that right over top. Mm -hmm. That's good. Right? It's like peppery. Yeah, right? peppery. Very That's really good, though. That's really so. good. And also, uh, Mother's Day will be here, too. Yes. And you're busy. Both the locations yes, are really busy. Yes, we are. Um, we're going to be doing a buffet for Mother's Day. Um, we ran it for Easter, and we, people loved it. So we're going to be doing that again. Great. Um, please book the reservation. We'd mm -hmm. love to have everyone there, uh, yourselves included. Sure. <laughs> and then <laughs> looking ahead there. to a day like today, a lot of people are thinking about sitting outside. Absolutely. We actually, as of yesterday, we opened our patio. Oh, it's so nice, so, isn't Oh, it? yeah, yeah. Oh it was God. great. <laughs> and we got a little chilly at first, but then, you know, everyone that came by really, really enjoyed it. People right. are going to start running over yeah. right now. Wait a right. minute, their yeah. patio's open. Yeah. Hang yeah. on, I'm going yeah. now. So come try the pork, absolutely. We're mm -hmm. open for lunch and dinner, uh, seven days a week, yeah. brunch on Sundays. All right, we're going to give this a... Uh, yeah, this a absolutely. Little. Give this a slice. Here you go. I'm going to get it okay, we're gonna going get underneath your sharp knife here. <laughs> give this a taste. Cut that right open. Can this looks great. Here. What are some other menu items that are on, or excuse me, some other items that are on the new menu? So we always like to focus on um, salmon. So this is uh, a fit salmon dish and mm -hmm. other, uh, we have a cod dish as well on there. Great um, seafood, yeah. Yeah, so we have a lot of seafood. We also offer 10, uh, 10 uh, types of mussels on our menu. Um, 10, 10 types, types of mussels? Yes. Well, we are in, we're in a great area Exactly, for that. exactly. So all of our mussels come right from Cape Cod. Mm -hmm. uh, we cook them up. There's 10 different flavors. Uh, I recommend the Portuguese. That's my favorite. Yeah. Um, um, and yeah, that's red stripe in a nutshell. It's grilled cheese, mussels, this great is food. delicious. <gasps> yeah, and it's so good. With that on top, yeah, of it, that it really just great. brings out the. the oh my god! It really gives it some acidity. And I really, really like really it. I mean, nice. even just looking at it, you can tell the pork chops yep. not dried out. Mm -hmm. Has great flavor, great flavor inside. And I do want to try these beans too, while we're here. Very Give these large a beans. Too. You said low and slow. If you're low and those slow, low and home. slow. Okay. We'll soak them overnight uh, if they're dry, mm -hmm. and then just overnight uh, in some water, and then just they're low delicious. and slow it. Yeah. Mm. Beautiful. All right. So good. Will seal of approval. They're You're good, delicious. Jacob. Really, thanks really so much good. for Thank coming you. in. And really you can good. try this recipe out for yourself over at Roadshow.com.